Welcome to the Two Minute Podcast. Today I'm stoked to say I'm with Dan Kelly of the band Fortunate Youth. Truly one of my favorite vocalists and songwriters in the genre. I'm so excited to have you on the show. Welcome. What up, what up? He says that to everybody, but I'm glad to be one of them. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Two Minute Show is awesome. Thank you, thank you. I've seen you guys live a few times, and I gotta say, your live performances really stand out to me. I just want you to bring me into your world when you're on stage. What does it feel like when you're performing your music? Oh man, it's a selfless act of just feeling awesome. How I see music, it's a feeling of texture and color. And uh, as soon as I get into the music and, and I feel it, I don't think there's ever been a show where I don't leave crying off the stage. Like, oh my God, it got me. You know, the story got me. There are stories about my life that are in the music, but I never wanted to say, I because it's more about the people. The first three letters of Fortune Youth is for you. Could you tell me the story of proposing to your wife at Red Rocks? Yeah, yeah. So I was really nervous. She never been to Red Rocks. I thought I might as well blow that whole thing out of the water. I just finally tell the boys, hey guys, uh, I'm going to do this thing tomorrow. I'm going to propose. And they're like, whoa, man. <laughs> I thought you would have said something earlier. I'm like, no, no, I'm just going to keep things tight. She's not a girl that likes to sit in the backstage or side stage. She likes to sit in front of the stage and hear the music as it was meant to be heard. And so I see her as I'm performing. She's in the first row or two, and I'm like, damn it. Boy, this is going to work out. And so we had the drummer of Tribal Seed's wife go get her from the crowd and bring her to the back. And she's like, what am I here for? And he's like, oh, this is going to be this big family thing. She's like, there's no family. And he's like, yeah, I noticed that. And then I just stopped the song and turned around and said, come on over here. And then she came, and she didn't know. And then I got on my knee, and then, I mean, I I've never heard a crowd so loud, right? Like, what just happened? <laughs> and get married in the Virgin Islands with Mike Love marrying us. I mean, it couldn't have got any better. No way, man. <laughs> okay, quick question. What is your favorite quote or mantra to live by? Oh, wow. You get what you give, so give it all. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that one. Nice, <laughs> nice. Final question. What is the kindest thing a fan has ever done for you? There's a lot of nice things. Oh, you know what? A nice gentleman, Mr. Dan Zaransky. You know, I treat everyone the same. Known you forever or known you five minutes. I just like to be the same kind of guy all the time. Be awesome, stay awesome. You never have to worry about being shady, right? And so, you know, it's like, what do you, what's your favorite artist? If you could see one, you know, right now, what would be your favorite artist? I'm like, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Because I know I'll never see him. He's deadly dead. And uh, good luck, Mr. Fan. You know what he did? He got me a signed lanyard of Steve Vaughn in the 80s. And he got me, hold on, hold on. <laughs> and he also got me this Steve Ray Vaughn guitar. Whoa, that's sick. Yeah, crazy, huh? The nicest thing a fan's ever got me. Pretty sick guitar, the action's always the best. I got a few guitars in my collection, but this one's like my favorite, I gotta say. Dan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk. Tell me what's on the horizon, what's going on? Hey, we just got out of the studio doing a new album. The last time I was trying to talk to you, did seven songs. So, you know, a lot of things on the horizon. Make sure to go check it out on uh, all the things. Thanks again for chatting. Hey, what's up? This is Dan Kelly. Make sure you go follow the Two Minute Podcast. Thank you, Dan.